What's up guys? Yeah, uh, this time not a review, but a comparison between two seemingly identical guns. We have the Beretta 92 FS and the Beretta 92 A1. Uh, we're going to see what the difference is between these two guns and see if the difference in the 92 A1 makes it a little bit better to shoot than the 92 FS. All right, here's the close-up comparison of the two guns. We got the FS on the right and the A1 on the left. Uh, of course, one of the obvious differences between the A1 and the FS is the built-in Picatinny rail on the frame here. Uh, this is one thing that I think a lot of people choose the A1 over the 92 over the FS for is because of the rail. All right. One of the other differences that you can see just by looking at them are the mags that come with them. The FS comes with two 15 round mags and the A1 comes with three 17 round mags. Uh, now the 17 round mags will drop into the FS. There's a little bit of trouble when you get it right there, uh, but if you bring it home, you can see it has no problem uh, chambering around from it. We'll clear that. The other difference and the main difference between the A1 and the FS, we'll have to break it down to see it. Uh, now the A1 breaks down just identical to the FS. Uh, you push in here on the release button and then you flip this around and you can see the slide just comes off. And the main difference is in this. And this is supposed to be a recoil reducing spring. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and break down the FS real quick just to show you the differences in them. Because you can tell the difference once you get them out and look at them. Uh, as you can see, the recoil reducing spring is contained, uh, whereas the regular FS spring is not. And we're going to shoot both of these guns today and see if this has any effect over this one. And today, both mags, uh, we'll be using the 15 round mags that came with the FS and the 17 round mags that came with the A1 in each gun. But as you can see, they're both loaded with 115 grain, full metal jacket, uh, Tula 9mm rounds. So the rounds are exactly the same. So that won't have anything to do with it. And we'll see if this little thing right here actually reduces the recoil or not. We're going to start with the A1. Uh, we have full mags in both of them. So this one will have 17 rounds. The FS will have 15 rounds in it. Uh, we're going to do both first shots are going to be double action followed by all single action shots. So we'll see if there's a big difference there. Uh, let's see what I can do with it. That was pretty impressive. Uh, all right, let's move on to the FS and see what the difference is. Now we have the FS. Let's see if it does any worse. From honest to goodness feel, uh, it's kind of a hot day. These guns are getting kind of hot. Uh, from feel, it does feel like this does have a little bit more recoil to it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and watch the videos and see if there was any more muzzle flip on it real quick. Okay, here's the initial double action shot. And as you can tell from this freeze frame, there's actually more muzzle flip with the A1 compared to the FS. Here are the first single action shots. Again, there's more muzzle flip with the A1. And here are the rapid fire shots. As you can see, I'm able to control the FS more and put more shots into the target. So as you just saw, the recoil reducer in the A1, uh, it does provide less felt recoil, but it does give you more muzzle flip as opposed to the FS. And muzzle flip is the most important thing when it comes 
to shooting firearms because as you could see I was more accurate and I put more rounds in the target with the FS than I did with the A1 so that to me uh, makes me suggest to you the FS as opposed to the A1 but there are two things uh, that I forgot to mention when we did the close-up of the two weapons as you can see here on the FS you have serrations here on the front of the trigger guard whereas you do not with the A1 and you can even tell that the trigger guard on the A1 is a little bit more rounded than on the FS and one of the other things that I also didn't mention is that I don't know if you can see this but the front sight here on the A1 uh, is removable so you could uh, put a different sight on the front of it that might help you out a little bit uh, as far as target acquisition goes uh, the FS to me was a lot better than the A1 because of the muzzle flip so again I recommend the FS as opposed to the A1 unless of course uh, you want the Picatinny rail and the removable front sight if that's a seller for you then I would have to suggest going with the A1 but if you want uh, accuracy then I have to say go with the FS and just because I can <laughs> that was righteous.